Hey, it's Jay. Welcome back to Plasma Channel. The air in this fan is propelled using blades. But what if I told you air can be propelled using ions? Would you believe me if I said that for the time being, ionic wind is our best shot for interstellar travel? <laughs> but don't take my word for it. Take a look for yourself. You just witnessed was an ionic thruster. Thrust was produced using ionic wind. Awesome concept. It has zero moving parts and is powered by about 20,000 volts. And though this looks like anti-gravity, it's just an exotic form of thrust. Here you can use a candle to see the air currents underneath. Right, so let's take a closer look at how ionic thrust works. The wire up top is the positive electrode. Applying 20,000 volts, electrons are ripped off of the gas particles, ionizing them with a positive charge. This atmospheric gas is then attracted to the negative electrode at the bottom and accelerates downward. Upon reaching the negative electrode at the base, an electron is deposited back onto the gas and it continues its downward movement due to its momentum. This provides thrust. This is the basis of the ionic lifter or ionocraft. But can it be used for airplanes or spacecraft? <whistles> NASA's already figured that one out. This technology is being applied to their ion engine drives for future and current space travel. Compressed xenon gas is stored aboard the craft and when expelled, is accelerated using the same principle I've demonstrated. Estimates place this method of propulsion as the slowest to accelerate, but attaining the highest known velocity. We're talking 10% speed of light. This is incredible technology. Now our sun produces tremendous amounts of solar wind on a daily basis. And that solar wind is also an ionic wind. Amazingly, we can use this for space travel as well, using a solar sail. Planetary Society's light sail uses photon collisions and ionic wind to create thrust, though photon collisions are the primary focus. Although this technology is relatively new, it has been around for a couple of decades now. NASA uses it to help control satellites in geosynchronous orbit, and also a great example of how they've used ion propulsion is their Dawn spacecraft. It carried aboard about a thousand pounds of compressed xenon to use ion propulsion as its main propulsion source. That's incredible! That just goes to show you the far-reaching implications of high voltage and ionic wind. Maybe one day we'll have a spacecraft that'll take people to other planets using ion drives. I look forward to that day. If you feel like you learned something pretty cool, leave a like, leave a comment, or share the video with people who might enjoy it. But most importantly, subscribe to Plasma Channel. Lots of great stuff coming up. If you'd like to see the last episode on St. Elmo's Fire, click the box to your right. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. You stay classy.